we go. Hello, everyone. You're in the office once again with Joseph Skoda. In my office, you see the background, these musical uh, symbols that we look at and a lot of things going on because we also have some music in our heart. We also have something that clicks with us. We also have something that brings a, a little bit of peace. I like music because it brings a little peace and harmony and all those things I just talked about, but it brings a smile. If you listen to the right music, it brings a smile. So I'm so grateful to be able to welcome our next guest, Jeremiah Jordan. How you doing, Jeremiah? Good. How you doing today? We're doing awesome. We're doing awesome. I know we last talked, I don't know, two or three months ago, and a lot of our audience gave some feedback from listening to you. They want to know, what's Jeremiah up to now? And so we're interested. So tell us a little bit about your background, and we'll get to what you're doing now. But uh, more importantly, once again, where do you live? Um, right now, I'm, I'm living in uh, Johnstown, Colorado, right next to um, Johnson's Corner. Um, that's a historic landmark there. Um, but yeah, it's a, a sunny day in, in Johnstown today and just working on the music. Um, I have a, a new song release called That's Life. Awesome. Awesome. So what, a, what brought upon That's Life? I know you did something similar to that not too long ago. So what brought on That's Life? Well, That's Life is the follow up to uh, the song All of My Life. Oh, um, that's life. It, it, it's really about uh, finding direction and with, with life and opening up the heart to love again. As I was walking from my residence to Johnson's Corner one day, I, I came up with the bridge for the song. Um, now is the time to open up my heart to love again. What was then was great. And here we are right now. Um, just remember me for who I truly am. So it song is pretty pretty special to me, and and I hope, I hope people like the song. <laughs> no, th those are always strong words, and sometimes you have to let your guard down to open your heart yeah. again. Because we have all been, had broken hearts. I believe we've all had a broken heart once or twice in our lives, whether a best friend, a loved one, a parent, whatever it was. And it's hard to to um, open yourselves and be vulnerable vulnerable once again so how do you deal with vulnerability in the lyrics to your songs with vulnerability i agree with yeah. you um with uh, a lot of people have uh, can relate to having a broken heart and, and uh i've had my heart broken a few times too so coming up with the song it uh really helped me also <laughs> um so yeah uh um, that's what makes the song pretty special. So, yeah. Sure, just find a way to to relate our brokenness and, and find a, a way to come back together. And, and you chose music. Tell us a little bit about, um, I, I know you just mentioned earlier before the break that you started your own company. What brought that about? Well, I started my own company on March 1st of this year. Um, uh, it's it's called uh, Jeremiah Jordan Enterprises, and uh, yeah, I started it. I had auditioned for American Idol back in 20, 2002. Uh, yeah. Went all the way out to Austin, Texas, and went through all the rounds and everything. My audition was uh, right on, but at the time, I I didn't quite have all my music ready. So even if I would have gotten on the show, I wouldn't have had anything to launch from back then. But right now is just like the perfect time because I've got all, my second song release and first song went on the radio in Hot Springs, South Dakota. And um, yeah, so also working on the second song, getting on the radio and going nationwide again. I still have that goal of getting to all 50 states. Um, so plans are moving in progress for that happening too. How, how many states have you actually traveled to? Oh, let's see. No, I know sometimes it's hard when you're just going through real fast. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I traveled through uh, South Dakota, Montana, Idaho, Oregon, Washington, California, New York, and Florida so far. 
It, well, I've been to 45 states. And oh, wow. Two of, <laughs> two of the ones you mentioned I've never been to. I've never been to North Dakota or Montana. So oh. yeah, that would bring me uh, two states closer to my goal of hitting 50 <laughs> states. Uh, and, and very yeah. interesting because a lot of my career, obviously, plane will stop here. And you get out of the lobby, get your coffee, and get back on the next plane. It's hard to say you actually been there, and, right. but it's exciting when you you can do those kinds of things. But getting your music out to all fifty states, kind of yeah. a big deal. Even mm -hmm. further, so that's the ultimate ultimate goal there. So tell tell us what, what, what's your um, Jeremiah Jordan Enterprises? What does that entail, and what else do you do? Do you help others produce their music, or what's going on? Uh um, yes, um, it, it's a it's a it's a company for my for the music. Um, I also do um, art, and I also uh, help other people too with their music, also also as well. Um, but yeah, I, I plan on opening up the company to a clothing line, and um, yeah, mainly right now uh, focusing on the music, but it's a uh, I'm open to like opening it up too. Also, I think we have to uh, be able to open up to different genres and not just music, but of enterprise if we're going to be successful. Because the ups and downs in the market and the ups and downs in life, and I know that's what that's life is a little bit about, and all of my life is about the the ups and downs. Can you uh, maybe elaborate, yeah. maybe even sing us a chorus of your latest song? All right, I'll sing for you. Awesome. Awesome. Okay. And <clears throat> here's that life. Yep. As I walk along this road, realize the wonder as I go. And now I find the way to be. The way that's right for me. Changing seasons as I ride along the prairie, great divine. And now we are together again. Together, yes, that's life. Now's the time to. Open up my heart, open up my heart to love again. What was then was great, and here we are right now. Please remember me for who I truly am. As I walk along this road. Realize the wonder as I go. And now I find the way to be. The way that's right for me. There you go. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. That's interesting. We'll find out what's the best for me. How do we know what the best for me is? Who, or is it we have to get married and your spouse tells you? That's too real. Yeah. <laughs> so you, a lot of you, you said, you know, what's truly best for you and, and who you truly am. And that's a journey we all have to take. And uh, obviously, are you, do you know who you truly are right now? Or are you still on that journey? Um. Yes. Um. Uh, um. The rest of the song goes. Um. And now I find the way to be the way to Jesus Christ. Guide the way. And now we are together again. Together. Yes. Everlasting life. Um. <laughs> I get it. That's that's our, that should be our ultimate journey to to live eternally with Jesus Christ. Yeah, uh, absolutely. And and too many of us get it confused what it takes to get there, and we let all these distractions and obstacles and failures in our life get in yeah. the way. 
Yeah. How do you overcome some of those challenges? And, and not necessarily be on the straight and narrow, but you got a vision ahead of you. How do you get away from all those, you know, challenges in your life to get there? Um, a lot of prayer. Uh, a lot of um. Sometimes I have to uh, kind of evaluate my life every day and, and just to just to, to get on the right course of where I'm going for each day. And uh, but yeah, you know, life's a journey. Uh, it um yeah. <laughs> has has anyone ever told you I don't know give up on music or give up on uh, on whatever you're trying to get in life and then just forget about it, do something different has anyone ever done that been been that person in your life that gave you doubt yes um, that, that the first audition for American Idol I thought my audition went perfect but he, he, they called five people in, and we all sang the verse and chorus, right? Mm -hmm. I was the last one to sing, and he said, thank you all for coming today. <laughs> and I'm like, maybe I shouldn't do this. <laughs> but um, but I kept going at it, and, and I my very first, uh, what inspired me to really get started in entertainment was Elvis Presley and Anne Margaret. I saw Viva Las Vegas, and I was like, wow, that's what I really want to do. I was like a child at the time. My dad used to collect um, Elvis films, and uh, and so I did. Uh, that uh, in third grade, I started getting a splish flash out on the playground. I would get up on a tunnel, and all these kids would like surround the tunnel, and, and I was like, "Wow, this is pretty cool." And I just would sing. But that was one of the first talent shows I did was Splish Splash. We cut out a uh, a bathtub card cardboard bathtub. I had two backup singers who blew bubbles. <laughs> For me singing Splish Splash Acapella, <laughs> it was pretty fun. This <laughs> is people blowing bubbles in the background. Yeah. Do you ever keep in touch with um, some of those from your past, your child, childhood friends? Um. Yes, I do. From time to time, I've, I've come across them on Facebook. It's been really nice to catch up with them. Also, um. Just a few days ago, I went to uh, the Golden High School 150th celebration anniversary, and I was honored to sing my song "All of My Life" and "That's Life" for the celebration. So it was nice to really catch up with teachers and students and alumni there. Oh, that is a big deal. That is a big yeah. deal. And thanks to social media, even Facebook, I'm able to keep keep up with some of my friends too. And realize we just you know as you get older you have different lives you get jobs maybe move on get married have children and it's hard to keep those connections going but, right. but you, you know it is and i get i like to say my best friend lives in virginia the hell i haven't seen him in a dozen years you know we probably talk yeah. uh, on facebook maybe two or three times a year and i haven't really talked to him in person and in a long time, and there's no real reason for it. We just get busy. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, and, and but when you find those right friends or people that made a difference, as that's a longer journey. Even in my aspect, I don't always go back and and thank them or or show the appreciation that I should. You ever had those problems? You probably let them know right away. Thanks, man. <laughs> If I couldn't do without you, I have a problem with that, and and I need to work on it. I need to work on that too. You know, I I need to uh, definitely call up some people that that really helped me along the way, and also say thank you to them. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Start with mom and dad. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. I, I'm a procrastinator. Therefore, I'm a little bit behind the power curve of where I should be in life. But I, I'm exactly where I should be in life due to the actions I've taken or not taken so far. And, and that, that's something hard to put your mind around. We're exactly where we're supposed to be, whether we like it or not. Yeah. yeah. I know, I know. So how, how can people 
find you or um, your your enterprise? What's the, what's the best way to reach out to you? Um, a good way to reach out to me is online. Um, I'm on Facebook through uh, Jeremiah Jordan, uh, Jeremiah Music Productions. Um, also on Reverb Nation at uh, ReverbNation.com slash Jeremiah72. Um, yeah. Um, yep. <laughs> okay. What's the 72 about? Is that when you were born? Um, that's something Reverb Nation came up with. I think I should... Uh, Go in there and talk to him and say, I'll just put Jeremiah Jordan. (laughs) (laughs) Are you 72 or that when you were born? I don't know. Because I got numbers like after a couple of my emails, there's usually my birth date or something. something Okay. Just to stand out. But over time, nobody needs to know what my birthday is. (laughs) (laughs) Nobody needs to know anything more about me than what I want them to. So I, I have several emails. Now, okay. of course, I'm sure you do also. <laughs> it's steer towards and, whatever business is. Yeah. Yeah. Also, I have an email too, um, Jeremiah Jordan Enterprises at gmail.com. There you go. Jeremiah Jordan Enterprises at gmail.com. Like five Gmail accounts and a Yahoo account. My, I still have friends that have Hotmail accounts from back in the day. Hotmail and all that other stuff. And, it works. I guess just yeah. the attachments or videos. Yep. I think my first email was from um, MSN. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. MSN, yeah. AOL. Remember that AOL had the well, yes. disc you would take home? They must yeah. have called them after a while, they just give away for free. And, and you hear the dial up on the modem and <laughs> take forever to get in. Totally. Yeah. <laughs> Those were the good old days. Life was so yes. simple. Of course, I this agree. interview would have taken like two hours to do. <laughs> right. <phone line. laughs> we all, all, all jumpy all over the place. That's crazy. Remember the yeah. um, the early, uh, earlier pirated movies people used to do? So we go with a big video camera before we had the cell phone <laughs> and, and take a picture of video and, and Put it out there and sell to you real cheap, but it'd be jumpy. Half will be missing. The voice would match up. Well, I remember those days. Good old, <laughs> Good old days. Now, when phones that, were that thirty bucks. Me. Yeah, that yeah. reminds me of singing in the rain. That scene where they were just coming out with talk with talkies, <laughs> and, oh, uh, yeah. Up and yeah. It would be great to. I, I think we're in the age where mu- movie musicals are coming back. Like there is a uh, Wicked's coming out pretty soon. It's a uh, supposed to be a pretty classic era right now, like it was back then when it came. They came out with um, My Fair Lady, Singing in the Rain, and Hello Dolly. I think that's all gonna come full circle again. Like that's gonna happen now. Also, it's the beginning of a great era for movie movie musicals. I believe. <laughs> Have you ever thought about, or have you done any musicals? Um, I, I did a lot of musicals uh, in high school. I would be very much interested in a movie musical um, now. I'm also an actor, also as well. Also, I just I played a part in a movie just a couple months ago called Desert Fiends. Oh, in Las Vegas. Oh. It's a horror comedy sci-fi. <laughs> And at the wow, end, they kill me with blood wire around my neck, blood everywhere. <laughs> if, oh, if this is the best I can do to get an acting, I'll take it. Yeah, <laughs> kill me anytime. You get on film, and I can live over and over again. So, what are some of maybe some of the favorite movies you like to watch? You remember anything you like to watch over and over again? I like Viva Las Vegas. Uh, bye bye birdie. I like Moulin Rouge. Um, Goodwill Hunting. Uh, yeah. One of one of my um, my friends is working on a movie. Her name is Kirsty Bryan. She was also um, she's a television star now and also in the movie industry. Um, but yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> One of my favorite, 
It's Rocky one, Rocky two, Rocky three. Those are, my, <laughs> those are the ones that's, I like to watch. That's a great movie. That that that's a great uh, saga there. Definitely. Well, right. <laughs> or Die Hard one, two, three. I love those trilogy movies. Those always keep me interested on, on, on my feet. <laughs> so, what are some of the um? Let's just say, what are some of the inspirations or, or people out there that make you move forward and keep doing what you do? Um, right now, I'm I'm listening to music by Babe Bryan, um, great music artist. He uh, is from the same town I'm from, Golden, Colorado. Now living in Manchester, um, UK. Uh, yep. So big inspiration of mine. Also, Kirsty Bryan. Um, I, uh, I'm a, a true fan of Kelly Clarkson. <laughs> um, what about her show? Gar- what about her TV show? Very funny. Very funny. She's very <laughs> warm and personable, and definitely. Yeah. Like, I think I think she's one of those artists who's going to bring back what what. Um, Judy Garland and and uh, had back in the day with the variety show, that would be wow. great. I think I think that's gonna come back into play, like like Cher and Sonny had and and Donnie and Marie. I think that kind of of a variety show now would be like pretty incredible to bring America together. Also, but Kelly Clarkson is am- amazing. Like I like how mm-hmm. she she takes artists who. Um, but very similar to herself and gives them a chance of a platform to showcase what they have. So I really admire her for doing stuff. So. I, I know those variety shows. I miss those so much. Uh, Carol yeah. Burnett show, Dean Martin, um, all, all yeah. back in the day. I'm not sure why it all disappeared. That was great family entertainment. Hard to find yeah. family entertainment now where someone's not getting shot or killed or you know, right, just cussing a storm. It's horrible. Sometimes it's really horrible. It's funny. Yeah. Um, a couple months ago, I went to see Cocaine Bear. Ever see Cocaine Bear? This bear finds a bunch of cocaine stashed under a tree and, and gets <laughs> high and starts attacking people. And and I went there with my granddaughters. And I didn't realize my son actually took them a couple of weeks earlier to see it. Now, my granddaughters, I'm, I'm, I'm guilty here. Our kids are desensitized. Seven and three years old. <laughs> Seven and three years old girls. And we're watching the second time. My seven-year-old, she's covering her eyes. And the three-year-old's just laughing. <laughs> she's whispering in the ear, don't worry, the, the bear's not dead. Three years old. They're just laughing. And like, wow. It had some funniness and humor to it. It's really not appropriate for kids, and I'm one of the guilty ones. But my grandkids would be too desensitized to what goes on out there, and we can't. Yeah. Them. <laughs> I remember huh. that. No, the bear actually cuts the guy's head off and stuff. And oh my gosh! The little three year old. <laughs> like, oh no! Oh. I created a monster. <laughs> I created a monster. Oh mm-hmm. boy! I shouldn't be saying this live. I'm gonna deny it all. I'm gonna deny it all. <laughs> but he's watching another Care Bear movie or something. <laughs> yeah, I can't do those kinds of things. So, what well, what's your next goal? Are you starting? Are you working on another song right now, or or what else is in the works? Um, yes, yeah, so I'm working on another song right now. It's called "Taking It Back." And um, I, I should be uh, done with the complete album within, in, in five, five months. So, um, yeah, there should be an album coming out. There's going to be a, a vinyl uh, record, also a CD. Ooh, vinyl. Um, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, um, also some merchandise coming out. I'm very thankful for my, my friend who does merchandising. Her name is Lori Bradford. Um, I went to uh, high school with her, and and I'm very thankful. I did my uh, song at uh, Luth Studio in Longmont, Colorado, yeah. with um, Daniel Luth John. But very great place to record music. Well, you well, let's just, I know you live in Colorado and you love it. Is there anywhere else that you would like to live if you were not living there? 
I'd like to live in Nashville. Mm. Um, that would that would be a, a great place to to live. Also in New York and California. <laughs> oh, I, I was in <laughs> I'm in California, but I was in Nashville a few months ago, and I just loved it there. <laughs> I just loved loved all of Tennessee uh, that I went to, good and bad. Memphis, Tennessee is a rough town, but I didn't make it through there this time. But Nashville is great, and, and Dolly Land, and all of Pigeon Forge. What a great place to be. Yeah. And I was in yeah. Nashville. We were at the Grand Old Opry, too. Got to visit there and be their first show. And it's just so awesome. Yeah. Um, I also wanted to tell you um, that I was, I'm a nominee for a Pop Song of the Year for the Josie Music Awards in Nashville, Tennessee. The show will be on October 22nd. Uh, um, so I'm pretty excited. <laughs> wow. Uh, Josie Awards? Yeah, the Josie Music Awards. Wow. Congratulations. <laughs> That's Thank a big you. deal. That's yeah. a big, I'm definitely going to tune into that. Wow. Okay. You never know. There's a movie call, right? A Star is Born. I think it was Linda Ronstadt or somebody. <laughs> Star is Born. And those things happen each and every day. All right. Well, any... Um, any any words of encouragement for uh, all, the rest of us up and coming aspiring artists? Um, always follow your dreams, and um, like we talked about, uh, always be thankful for where you come from, and and uh, and thank the people that helped you get there. <laughs> but thank you so much for this interview. I, I'm very thankful for it. Oh, you're welcome, Jeremiah. It's it's our privilege to be able to talk to you this morning actually it's morning where we're at right now and this will go out and definitely all of you out there in social media land or social media shows please subscribe to our channel our youtube channel our network and reach out find out pe more about people like jeremiah and, and other artists out there and, and share the information because the more information we share the more informed that we all become and more importantly we break down those barriers so we can become closer and, and learn and grow and, and maybe not have to go through the same challenges everyone else does. We can have the edge of the game. So Jeremiah, once again, once again, thank you. We deeply appreciate you. I need a thank you. Guy. All right. Any albums with Joseph Skoda over and out. Everyone have a great day and God bless you. If you liked our show, please subscribe to our YouTube channel or find us on any social media platform, Instagram, of course, Facebook. Like, subscribe, share. We appreciate it. Let us know your thoughts and join our team. Anyways, we appreciate you staying tuned week after week, day after day, because we continuously build up our network to bring to you what you're asking for. Have a great day. Peace.